What's up you guys, it's Contrast here for another Roblox Design School video. In today's video, we are going to be making this unique looking suit as an update video to my last suit tutorial. We're going to be using Photopea. If you're unfamiliar with Photopea, it's a free Photoshop alternative that you can run on your browser. I'll link it in the description if you want to follow along on this tutorial. But if you're a Photoshop user and you don't want to use Photopea because you already paid for Photoshop, you don't have to worry. Photopea is super similar to Photoshop, so it's definitely possible for you to follow along. So to get started, let's open our template layer. We can do that by pressing Ctrl or Command O on our keyboard. Now, if you want to get the exact template that I'm using, you can find it over on our Discord server. You can join using the link in the description. Now to add our base layer, let's use the rectangular shape tool and just lay it like so. Now the color for this doesn't really matter right now. You can choose whatever color you like. I'm going to be choosing this bright shade of blue, but we can totally change the color later on. Now to add our basic texture, we can use noise. To do that, let's first convert this base layer to a smart object. Now to add their noise texture, let's go into filter, noise, add noise. Now, now you can choose the noise amount to whatever you like. I typically set my noise amount to somewhere to 1 or 2. You can find both these assets over in the Discord server as I said earlier. Let's first focus on the polo asset. What we need to do is to add the fill color. To do that, let's first rasterize the layer. Right click the layer and hit rasterize. Then using the paint bucket tool, add a fill color like so. The color doesn't matter for now. We can change the color later on. Now let's go back to the suit asset and resize it. We can use the arrow keys to align it in the center. Let's go back to the polo asset and resize it as well. We can use the template as a guide for the size. Next, let's add our pockets. To do that, let's make a small rectangle. The color doesn't really matter for now. We can change it later on. It doesn't look much like a pocket. To fix that, let's add some rounded corners. We do that by going to the properties panel and adjusting the round corners there. You only want to add the rounded corners on the bottom part. So make sure to press the unlink button. We can duplicate the pocket by pressing Ctrl J on our keyboard. Now to add the theme in the center, let's grab the pen tool and make a tiny curve. We can remove the unwanted parts later. Now let's add our secret sauce and make our assets look more like a suit. To do that, let's duplicate the base layer and put it above our suit asset. Then right click and add clipping mask. Don't panic, the layer didn't disappear. To fix that, let's select the suit asset and add a drop shadow over in the effects panel. Make sure to set the distance to zero. You can play around with the opacity, spread and size as you like. Repeat the same process to the pockets and scene. To remove the unwanted parts of the seam, let's select both layers and convert them into one smart object. Then add a mask. Make sure you still have the mask thumbnail selected. Grab the brush tool and set the foreground color to black. Erase the unwanted parts like so. Let's go back to the polo asset and fix the color. To fix that, let's go to the effects panel and add the color overlay. Cut it to white. Let's add a drop shadow. Then let's grab the pencil and set the fill color to white. Put this layer under the polo asset and the suit asset. You can find this tie asset over in the asset pack, but you can also use a different asset. I just prefer using this because it looks better. Now let's go back to the tie asset layer. Let's first add a neck hole. To do that, let's grab the elliptical marquee tool and make a selection. Then select the base layer and add a mask. Control or command I to invert. Then let's go back to the tie asset and place it above the shape layer we made earlier. Let's add a clipping mask. We can use the arrow keys to align it in the center. Let's add some buttons. Grab the ellipse tool and make a tiny circle like so. Then add a gradient. Set the white color to somewhat of a gray color. This is completely optional. You can definitely make a black circle and call it a day, but adding a gradient makes it look a bit better. 
Now let's add in the shading. Select the template layer and add a drop shadow. Make sure to set the distance to zero. You can play around with the settings to whatever you think feels the best. We can remove the unwanted parts over in the bottom by grabbing the rectangular select tool and pressing the delete key on our keyboard. If you're a Patreon supporter or Discord server booster, you can find the suit seam asset and just drag it into Photopea. Let's say your client wanted a different color of this suit, or maybe you just want to change the color to better match your Roblox outfit. Since we converted the base layer to a smart object, we can actually double click on the layer thumbnail and it would open up a separate document. We can make some changes here in this document and it would reflect on the original layer. To show you how it works, let's change the color by pressing P on our keyboard and choose a different color. Hit Ctrl or Command S on the keyboard to save the changes. We can go back to the original document and as you can see, the whole color of the suit change. Except for the seam asset because we converted it into a smart object earlier. To fix that, let's double click on the layer thumbnail again and make the changes from there. If you want to create more suits similar to this, you can support us over on Patreon and get yourself 70 exclusive clothing assets. And if you support us every month, you'd get access to 10 exclusive clothing assets each and every month. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to do so. And a special thank you to our Patreon supporters for helping us create more videos like this. And I hope to see you in the next video.